Lutheran school. Welcome all our viewers, parents, teachers, and students. Those who are watching us live from all social media platforms. Today we are ready to elect our students' leadership from year 2024. In our studio, today we have our three guests who are presidential candidates vying for the seat of school president. Thank you so much. And in our discussion today, our big question is who is the next school president of the year 2024? Follow us live on YouTube at Sadankan. We are also on Facebook at Malibu Duncan Senior and our, our radio station at FM. We are all broadcasting this debate live uh, in our school premise. Remember, this is a highly respected school. Our school is located uh, along Dika Superhighway on your way to Dika, a line at Kenya, Kenya Road stage. It's 500 meters from the stage. We are located at BCA Kenya Road Church Ground, Halimoni, Judea County in Kiambu County, Kenya. You can still visit our school from Monday to Friday for inquiries as from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or call our office number 07 39324. We also have uh, 324366. Foundation of Excellence is our motto. We nurture every learner's potential and through innovation and creativity. Remember, we debate, we discuss, and also impact knowledge to our learners all around. So welcome back to our studio, and uh, in our studio we have three guests. We are going to introduce themselves, they tell us their names and their grade. Remember, the discussion of today is, who is the presidential candidate of the year 2024? Who is the school president of the year 2024? Continue following us live on YouTube and Facebook. And I'm going to start with the one who is seated next to me. Welcome. Um, thank you all and thank you also our uh, reporters in the studio um, for this chance for me to speak to the public. Um, my name is Dylan Mushira Mushaka and I'm going to be in the seventh time in the Hadi Presbyterian School. Hello, my name is Lona Wancha and I'm in the eighth quarter at Hadi JSS. Good afternoon, my name is Ivan Smarono and I'm in grade 7 college. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, visitors. I also have my fellow presenter. My name is Titus Kamande. Thank you so much. So we are going to ask you questions now that you have the candidates who are applying for the president of six and uh, our viewers who are watching us live. Uh, these are the three candidates who are vying for the seat of the school president. Remember our question is, who is the presidential candidate? Who is the president of our school in the year 2024? And I'm going to start with the Lona Wanja. She is going to tell us why did she choose to vote for the seat of the president? Lona. I chose to buy for this seat because I want to help my fellow students to not only be happy in a happy educated way, but also mentally. Thank you so much. That is Lona. She has told us that she wants to ensure that she assists other learners in the school. Let us see her from uh, Evans Marami. Welcome back. We are going to ask another presidential candidate who is Evans Marano. Evans, what is political party? Thank you. My political party is DIA. It stands for Democratic Independence of Ohio. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marano. His political party is uh, Independence. Democratic of Ahadi, Independence, Democratic of Ahadi. Let's see how from Lona Wanja. What's your political party? My political party is LDA, which stands for Lightning Eagles of Ahadi. 
That's very powerful. She says L E L. Let's hear from Gideon Moshila. Um, thank you very much. The political party is MPD, standing for Moshila Democratic Alliance. Wow, those are uh, very, very unique uh, political parties. We have one, DIN, uh, no, IDN for Emma Smararo, LEN for Lona Wanja, and MDN for Gideon Moshira. Now, we go to question number four. Wow, that was a very nice democratic political party. Let us to go to another question. Evans, what are your expectations? Thank you. My expectations are very high and I'm expecting to win, but I've got very tough rivals right here sitting next to me. But I'm wishing them all the best. My expectations are extremely high. Thank you. Wow, that's very excellent. He says that he has also been tough and competent uh, uh, to your candidates. Let's hear from Lona. What are your expectations? Now that you are three and you only need one, what are your expectations? My expectation is that the competition will be very stiff. But I have hope and faith in myself that I can do it. That's very really wonderful. He says, she says that she has hope and she believes in herself that she's going to win. Let's hear from Gideon Moshira. What are your expectations? Um, thank you very much. My expectations are that I will win, but due to our political laws, um, may the winner win. That's very really wonderful. Now. Remember, under these uh, elections that we are ahead of us, we only have three presidential candidates, out of which we only need one. Let's go to the next question. Wow, that was very powerful and wonderful. Let's go to the next question. In case you don't win, what will you do? Thank you. Uh, I'll feel disappointed, but on the other side, I'll feel proud for the winner. I'll congratulate him or her. Thank you. That's very good. Let's hear from Lona. I will firstly congratulate my fellow candidates. We all are here for the same purpose, and I know that even if I do not win, they will make sure that Ahadi is a better place. Wow, that was a very excellent feedback. And all of them, they say that they will congratulate to whoever well will win. Let's see her from uh, Gideon Moshia. Um, if in case I don't win, I'll just um, support the one who will win in one way or the other. And I just hope they will make Ahadi great. Thank you so much, uh, Lorna Evans and Gideon. And you see, that's a very good challenge. Are we together? It's a very good challenge, and we see that not all of them will win. We only need one candidate. And let's go to question number six. Now, which change do you think are you going to bring to our school in case you win? What are some of the changes that you are going to bring to our school, a hardly presidential school? What are some of the changes are you going to bring to our school, Evans Malawi? Uh, thank you. Uh, there are some things that I've been noticing over the years. Firstly, is I'll change the language. Uh, I'll increase more languages. The children will be disciplined, which is a uh, very tough because of how you know children are and I'll improve the cleanliness of every child. Thank you. Uh, that's very good, Maralu, for that explanation. Let's see a problem. Which change are you going to bring to our school in case you become the school president? 
if I do get elected president, I have hopes that I can convince our school principal to add more extracurricular activities and to also plan more partnerships for the students. Just to interrupt you, what are some of the co-curricular activities practiced in the school now? For now, we have basketball, we have environmental classes, we have football and volleyball. So I would like to add more because I have seen we have facilities for table tennis, for badminton and racket. That's very good. Let's hear from Gideon Moshira. What are some of the changes are you going to bring to our school? Um, the first change I bring is that, first of all, since with uh, the on, there's only one club that is very active now, which is the skating club. I'm gonna I'm gonna urge the with the school principal to bring up even more clubs, like for example, swimming, uh, cycling. Yeah. So you want cycling to come to our school, right? Yes. Thank you so much. So, but uh, remember we also have some of the co-curricular activities that we have in our school. Uh, they have only mentioned the sum. We have skating, we have journalism, like uh, what we are doing, this journalism club. We also have an uh, environmental, we also have scouting, we also have volleyball, we have netball, and so many co-curricular activities. So, and those are some of the changes that I said they are going to bring to our school. Uh, next question, Lorna. What makes you think that you are the best president to be voted for in these upcoming uh, elections? And I want to welcome our viewers who are watching us, those who are joining through uh, YouTube and uh, those who are joining through uh, Facebook. Welcome. We are in our discussion for the presidents of the school. The question is, who is the next president of a handy student's leadership? So we are still going on. Uh, what makes you think that you are the best uh, student or the best president to be voted for, for the seat that you are vying for, Lorna? Well, I think that I am the best candidate because I have good communication in life skills, which enables me to be able to speak freely with learners and understand many of their requests. I also perform well in my studies and I try my best to get along with teachers in whichever way I can. So I think I can help make a big change to this school. Wow, that's very wonderful titles, right? Yeah. And they are saying that they are going to ensure that she has good communication skills. Yes. And that's very good. Remember, that was, those are some of the things we look at. Yes. Let's see how for a um, uh, video. Um, I wanted to buy for this seat, and I want to think I'm the best president for this seat because I want to complete the work I left while I was still in the when I was still the school president in the primary section, but now I want to add more changes in the junior secondary section. Thank you. Remember, uh, Kijon uh, has been uh, the president of your last year and he is still coming in for the second term. Let's see how for Eva Zbalao. What do you think you are the best candidate, you are the best president? Why do you think? Uh, thank you. Um, I say that I'm the best because here I'm the youngest, so I know about our age group, what they need, what they deserve, and I've been noticing from the previous junior secondary leader, and I've noticed some small, small issues. That's what I am going to be key. Um, that's, those are what I will talk about, and I will emphasize more. Thank you. That's very wonderful, Evans Malaro. Uh, we go to the next question, uh, Titus. Wow, wow, wow. I can see this is going to be a competitive election. Very, very competitive. I see. And you see they are very active and confident. Oh, yes. Uh, let's continue, please. Okay, let's ask the candidates. What will be your first day? Immediately you have been sworn in the office of the president. The first thing, I'll go and talk to the learners 
and tell them thanks and I will start by ensuring everybody I'll start by asking what everybody needs and what they say is I will tell the head teacher I will work hand in hand with all the teachers to ensure the students deserve what they need. Thank you. That's very powerful when I type and she says the first thing to do is to appreciate those who are voting for him. And let's hear from uh, Gideon. What will be your first thing to do immediately when you win the election? Um, first of all, as I said, um, I will thank my, the people who voted for me and even if you did not vote for me, I still uh, appreciate you for your uh, for practicing your democratic right and I will also um, plant an avocado tree because during my campaign there are some people who approached me and they asked me to at least make a change in the news on especially on some days to make the food at least better and I will plant an avocado tree and the people who will come after me for at least three years or so will eat the food of my food. That's very, very excellent, Gideon. Uh, let's go to Lorna. Uh, immediately, you are, we imagine you are born in these uh, elections, and as Titus has said, that uh, these elections are going to be very, very competitive. They are going to be very competitive, and we remember we only, only need one more presidential candidate. So, Lorna, what is the first thing you are going to do immediately you are sworn in into the office of the president? as the president of the school. As my fellow candidates have said, I would also first appreciate everyone for voting for me, even if they aren't. We all have free will and it's good to show them and practicing of democratic rights. But after that, I would like to speak to my fellow students and clear out some of their issues so that I can accept, so that I can talk with the school principal and try to manage them out. That's very good, uh, Donna. Now, we go to another question, which is very, very tricky. Remember, we are still uh, emphasizing on we only need one presidential candidate. Do you think he will win these elections? Let us hear from Madam. Do you think, are you going to win in these elections? And if yes, why do you think so? Uh, I may win, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I am confident enough. And why, why are you not 100% sure and you are saying you are confident enough? Why are you not 100% sure? I am not 100% sure because there are some graded people who I don't need to vote for me. No, why do you think they won't vote for you? So that's half of the challenges you are going to face, right? Yes. yes. Those, those are some of the challenges because uh, when I was in grade 6, they weren't really interested in me and they were making fun of me. So that's some of the reasons that I'm not 100% sure that I will win. But may God be with me. <laughs> that's very wonderful. So he says that the first thing is put God in front of you. Let's go to uh, Gideon Moshira. Can you tell us, are you 100%? Or do you think you're going to win in these elections? Um, to be honest, I'm around 70% because some people are very so sure who they vote for because as you can see, the competitive uh, leaders here with me in the studio and we, they are all going to make our great change in a hardy, same as me. But some of the some of the citizens of Ahadi really don't they aren't sure of who they vote for. Oh, thank you. So you, you are at seventy percent and he says he's not sure because there are still some students who have not yet decided who to vote for. They are not sure who they are going to vote for. Let's go to Lorna. Do you think 
uh, you will win in this election. Imagine you are three and only need one. Let's see what will be from us. I am not sure that I will be, but I do have hope. But as for me, on my side, I have done my fair share of funding to get more votes from all sides, from all sides of the GSS classes. And I know that for the people who will vote for me, I thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. And therefore, let's go to do another question. Uh, Titus, question 11. Guys, this is going to be exciting for all of us on this election of 2024. We are very excited of this election. So, let us go to the next question, which is, which is what are the manifestos? Uh, thank you. I have a couple of manifestos that I have pre prepared hand in hand with um, my secretary and some of them uh, I will ha work hand in hand with all the teachers to ensure the learners are listened to what they need. I will also emphasize on the issue of end of term where we shall be going to trips as and also I would like to add more languages like previously we had a French but I would like to add more like Spanish or even Chinese. Thank you. You, you have said you want to add uh, Chinese and Spanish in our school. Can you tell us how are you going to do it? Because this is very wonderful titles, right? Can you tell us uh, you want to add Chinese and Spanish in our school? How is that going to be placed? Uh, I will tell the head teacher some teachers which my father knows who teaches different languages. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very wonderful, Titus. Yes, yes. Yeah, let us go to uh, Lorna. What are your manifesto? I have a lot of manifestos, but to mention a couple, one of them is I aim to be a leader by example to my fellow students. For example, my own classmates have very good points when it comes to questions, but are so shy to tell them, to speak them out. So I would raise my hand to enhance the confidence in our classroom. Another manifest I have is, I hope to talk, to be able to talk and listen well with my fellow students, so as to take their requests to the principal so that we can all manage them well. And I also help, want to help my fellow teachers, my teachers, to ensure discipline and law in this school. Wow, that's very excellent. Uh, let's see uh, Gideon Mosh. One of your manifesto. Um, thank you. Um, I have a couple of manifesto. Um, one of them to mention is that students will have an eco-friendly environment, meaning they will be able to address their issues well than in the previous leadership of the junior secondary school. And also, you will, pupils will, be, will, also, will also give the teachers the respect they deserve. That's very good. Uh, thank you so much. Those are some of the manifestos that they have. Remember, it's only your manifesto that's going to motivate the other learners who are not sure who to vote for. So if your manifesto is strong, you will only know that you are going to win. So, and for us, we are looking at manifesto. Can you go to the next question, Titus? So, candidates. What efforts have you made to ensure that you made the seat? Thank you. Uh, I've made a few efforts. That, for example, if you walk in the hallways, you'll find posters of, of the, that are written both for Evans. And just a point, who made those posters for you? Uh, it was me, but my mother is the one who printed for me. But the rest you did it yourself? Yes. Remember in Ahadu, we are bringing up creativity. And he says he's the one who came up with them. And the only one the parent did is to print. Go for it. Uh, 
uh, I've also encouraged some of my classmates to vote for me. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. So let us hear from uh, Lona Wanja. What are some of the efforts that are you going to make to win the seat? Some of my efforts that I have made are one, I have gone completely in each of the GSS classrooms. I have also been helped by my running mate to go and appoint some of our closest friends. Because we can always be there for this everyone. Not everyone has a liking. But when it's a friend to a friend, you can always convince them for the best. Another effort I've made, I have gone talking to some of my fellow students who have had problems so that I can show them I am a good leader. When I have been elected, I will help them. Though I have not put posters, it's because I would not like to see when the posters are torn after the elections, they will just be thrown away and due to a lot of careless recycling or rubbish disposal, it will not make a little friendly environment. So you are trying to say that uh, when you don't post your posters on the walls, then you can find the environment. Not really. As my fellow candidates have, it has also boosted their votes and people have known they are campaigning. But as for me, I am looking at the environment. Yes, I would have wanted to post, but I started thinking to myself, when these posters are removed from the wall, where are they going? They are going to the compost bin and they will just be burnt, which will also affect the environment. That's very good, Lorna. Uh, let's go to uh, Gideon Moshira. What are some of the efforts are you meant to win the elections? Um, first of all, I've campaigned all over the school. Um, I was going class to class, um, asking them to vote for me because their vote counts and they'll be able to practice, to practice their democratic rights and they will have a leader who will benefit them in one way or the other. Thank you so much. As you still hold the microphone, Gideon, which classes do you think are your stronghold that will make you win this election? Which is your strongest class? Why do you think uh, if I put more effort, I'm going to win this election? And for those who are um, watching us live, remember this is a Hadi Presidential School. We are live uh, having a debate with the presidential candidates, the students' leadership. Remember, we are only looking for one president for the year 2024. So we are still going on, and uh, Gideon is going to answer the question. Which classes do you think are your stronghold? The ones that you think are going to increase your votes? Um, also, um, standing up in grade seven, even if some of them are not sure, I'll still put effort. I campaign as much as I can. I will urge them, and I will. I, just, I will hope that they will vote for me. Thank you so much. Let's see how long. Uh, Lorna. My strongest classes, I personally think is Seven Zion and Eight Horem because most of them have already assured me of their votes. But I also hope to do more and more effort before the election day for the other streams to also so I can also have reassurance on their votes. Thank you so much. I will see you from Mararo. Uh, the most class that I, I think is my strongest point is seven hundred, the class that I'm in. Most of the pupils there have assured me and promised me their votes, but I'm putting more effort for the rest of the classes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and we know that and we know and understand that uh, you have been going through uh, different challenges as you uh, campaign. So let us question 12 as we conclude our discussion. Okay, let's continue with your questions. Which challenges have you encountered during your campaign? Uh, thank you. Most so I've encountered with learners saying that this candidate is better than me and 
saying, shouting at me that some of them are good, those are the weakest points, and especially the graded them. Some of the many challenges I have are for one, I, ca I, don't, I can't be sure that everyone will vote for me. So some of the learners I've interacted with, some have touched me personally and told me that I will not win, which does cause a low point, but I reassure myself that I can't be sure until the elections have been made. Wow. Let's see Akito. Um, first of all, people are going all over, tearing posters, but, and also some of them are also coming to me personally, telling me that there are no hopes for people voting for me, um, but I'm still pressing on. Thank you so much. Remember, in every step, for you to succeed, you must undergo challenges. For you also to succeed, you will undergo challenges. Now, I want to talk back to Tankas. What do you tell our candidates as we go to I want to tell you that be, be, think that, you know, that the God is with you. So, not think that what people say about you, think about you, or what are your awareness about God. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, can you pass uh, uh, Manalo, Lona and Gideon? Uh, we understand that all of us are buying for the same seat. And us as presenters is one to wish all the best. And may the best candidate win. And uh, two, ensure you put God first in everything that you are going to do. Put God first in every step. Even as if I'm being, put God first. Remember, our school is to bring up leaders uh, who are responsible as our leaders that we have. To have confidence in yourself. Don't mind about what others will say. We know it is uh, normal that uh, some will say, I, this one is uh, our leader, this one is not able. But have confidence in yourself that you are going to win. And uh, lastly, we wish you all the best. And before we conclude, we know we have so many people who are watching us live. We have your parents are at home. We have your teachers are watching. We also have students who are watching maybe from different countries. Like on YouTube, we have very, very many viewers who are watching us. Uh, even Facebook, there are so many viewers who are watching us. Uh, what do you tell those who are watching us live? Because there are some of them can be are even happy to see that you are very confident to talk live. You are very confident to speak very fantastic English, and we have seen it, which is one of our core values in our school. So, what do you tell them? Those who are watching us, what do you tell them? Did you? Um, thank you very much for watching us online, and as you have heard. We are about to practice our democratic rights on Friday and may the, may the best leader win and even if I don't win uh, or even if one of my candidates don't win, um, may they support the winner and may they, may they also, may they also uh, work hand in hand with him or her and make a hard and great place. All I have to say is thank you for joining us on whatever platform you are. We hope you put us in, our, in your prayers and may the best candidate win. All I have to say is everything I was taught, I learned everything from this school and I like to say may the best leader win. May God be with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Gideon, Lola, and Evans. And maybe as I conclude, uh, you have been in a hurry for more than eight years, uh, and our viewers are watching. They, 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 they are, uh, some parents who are watching, uh, others are being watching while driving. We never know what they are doing. What can you tell them that a has done for you? 
what has a hardy done to you that you can tell them, hey, I'm in a school that is, uh, has brought me uh, far away from uh, eight years back from ECB. What has her had the Presbyterian school done for you? Let's start with Evans Maharu. Uh, thank you. Uh, Hadi has done a lot of things for me. It has made me confident. It has made me get the knowledge I need. And maybe in the future, I'll be the one coming back to repay a Hadi. Hey, that's very wonderful. He will be the one who comes to repay a Hadi. That's a very, very great compliment to them as well. Let's go to Lona. What has a Hadi done for you? that you can say, I, I am in a very good school. Lorna? Ahadi has made a lot, of, it has helped me a lot in very many various ways, which I know I cannot say all, but all I have to say is, if God puts, showers any blessing on any school of sin, Ahadi is the one. Thank you so much. And that's also a very positive compliment. Let's hear, from uh, Gito. What has Ahadi done to your ability school from playgroup until grade 7? What has Ahadi done to you? Um, first of all, Ahadi has made me to be the person I am today. And first of all, even if you ask some of the teachers who were in this school way back, um, I was some of in some of the graduation ceremonies they were choosing me to be the one giving the speech to the graduates and up to now I can I even give speeches to the assembly and also as Evans has said uh, I'd be like the one leper who was healed with who was healed by Jesus and he came back to say thank you. That's very good uh, our viewers uh, that brings me to uh, brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Remember, we were asking a big question. Who is the president of the year 2024? And just maybe before we go, Titans can remind us, where is Ahadi located? Where do we find Ahadi Presbyterian School? Maybe there are those who are watching us and maybe they would like to join our school. Where is Ahadi located? So, if you like to join Ahadi Presbyterian School, it's our school is located along Dika, Super Highway on your way to Dika, a light at Kenya, Kenyatta Road stage. It's 500 meters from the stage. We are located at PCA in Atarok Church Crown, Kalimoni, Junior Sub County, Junior Sub County in Kiabu County, Kenya. Thank you so much. We have been your presenters. Titus Kamane. And Sir Duncan. Remember, you can follow us live on Facebook and YouTube. Until next time, we want to say thank you and thank you for following us.